smell of grimy muck from the night before, foodstuffs and oils that have been wiped up and been collected by the dustman. The smells of, of the city, the early morning city, cobblestones glistening with freshly doused water to, to get rid of the night before's hangover. Yeah, the city's alive, the city breathes. Got my cafe Nero. Oh, sorry for just burped while speaking then. I like a Cafe Nero. What are your thoughts, guys? Do you like Cafe Nero? I like the cups, I don't like the shops. The second day of the Sundance Festival, got some interesting movies today, a couple of horrors, one called The Watcher, one called Resurrection. I've got about four or five today, I think. Um, and then tomorrow, obviously, doing the interviews. But yesterday, what a day. We had body horror in the form of a childlike fairy tale, which a girl rescues an egg and it grows. And it's called hatching, so no prizes for guessing what happens there. Uh, hatching. Then we had something about a strange inventor in Wales creating his own form of AI. That was that's strange and funny. It was a comedy. Then we had a documentary about two volcanologists who uh, risked everything for their passion uh, and literally risk everything uh, in this most remarkable footage that they've shot throughout their lives and their careers. And then we had Emma Thompson an over 60 something year old uh, hiring a rent boy or a um, sex worker to have sex with because uh, she wants to experience everything in life. And that for me is the sign of a successful festival where Nadia said, which was your favourite film? I said, I couldn't really say, they're all so different. Brilliantly curated, brilliant selection. The reviews and some of the interviews, we're doing all the interviews with some of the directors of these films tomorrow morning. Tell you what, it's like, it's like being in Indonesia. Believe me, it is. It's like muggy. It's incredibly humid and hot. Perfect day to be sat in seeing five films. Um, five films. And the great thing about films and filmmakers is, for me, it's the truest art form. For me, it's the art form that engages every single sense. It involves music, every, almost every other art form as well. Uh, composition, photography, lighting, you name it. It's such a masterful art form. This here, Subs, used to be, well, it became the Lumiere Cinema, but this used to be the Disney Cinema. When I was a boy, I used to come here and there used to be cartoon Disney characters up these stairs, and you'd go down the stairs and there was always huge excitement. It's now a gym, I think. But this used to be Disney cinema. So there'd always be like a character from Disney, some dressed as a Disney character, standing at the top of the stairs. Of course, when you're a kid, you think they really are the characters. Like I thought Boba Fett was standing outside Barnes on Elgin, Cres Elgin Crescent, as if he'd be in Elgin Crescent. For me, Central London is all tied up with movies and cinema and film, whether it be making stuff, whether it be watching stuff. So Leicester Square, Gotta dodge all the trucks on Leicester Square in the morning. It's one way to fight the tube strike. Mother Earth. Film's done. Sundance film's done. Head home. Find a bit of homework. A bit of note taking. Setting up questions. A little bit of research notes. Production notes. Head in tomorrow with 62 cameras. Interview them all. Bish bash bosh. Sundance festival done. London. Underneath the moonlight. Oh, the moonlight's gone. It's behind the tree. So vibey. On the South Bank. Oh. Oh, 
Tell me. Oh. Look like an otter. But her hair's already so soft. Oh my god, the girl's gonna love this it's tonight. Like an otter. sitting on the top of the uh, Picture House Central uh, in the sun, which is um, going to be nice. It's going to be like a little bit of the Cannes Film Festival overlooking Piccadilly Circus. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to joining the card. All these very talented filmmakers sharing in their highs and lows, uh, what they're pleased with, what I liked about the films, what they liked about the films, what were the struggles, inspirations, all that sort of stuff. So, we've had a choice. being in a tumble dryer. We had lots of questions. Directors are thrust in front of you in a different order to the order you've done your questions in. So you're gonna rustle through the films, rustle through your questions. They were all absolutely charming, absolutely lovely. Fascinating just to chew the cud and chat about directing people like Tim Roth and Rebecca Hall and uh, working with the makeup special effects team from Star Wars on one of the horror films. Just really, really interesting chatting away with directors. It's all in the can. So we, we're all going on a weekend holiday. We're all going for a couple of days. Day or two. <laughs> so where are we going, Mark? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> we are on our way to Camber Sands. Mum and Dad have booked a lovely place by the sea. And we're all going for the weekend ah! to celebrate Mum's 95th birthday. Wow. Thank hey. you. <laughs> How old, Dad? 85. <laughs> 85. I think we should give it a good old hussah! <laughs> 
Uh, it's the first time mum and dad have been away since the pandemic. So as the mum said, she's forgotten how to go away. <laughs> I felt a bit like that myself this morning. Yeah. Very interesting fact, guys. So today, I was this morning, woke up really early, was scrolling through Instagram and came upon this post about brown noise, which was a very annoying noise. <laughs> like that. And they have found out that this brown noise helps people with ADHD to um, concentrate because it stops the racing thoughts. So anyway, today, I, I decided I wasn't, for some reason, I wasn't gonna have my radio on. I think it's because I couldn't find my headphones. I didn't want to annoy Mark with it. I have had the most frustrating of mornings. I've achieved zero. My brain has been racing the whole time. I'm doing one thing, then I go back to another and it's just been a mess. And I realized, it took me back to the post I read this morning, it's because I didn't have the brown noise on. And I so I noise. think that's why all my life I have to have noise in the background to be able to concentrate. Yes, yeah, I do, and then at other times I absolutely don't. Yeah, I'm sorry that Mark's come as a Smurf, but there's nothing we can do, he's determined. Do a Smurf song, Mark. I don't know the Smurf song. Mum, do you know the Smurf song? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. What would you imagine the Smurf song would be like? Something very squeaky and silly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there you go, Mark. You I can used give to... it a direction there. I used to... Something squeaky and silly. We are Smurfs. There we go. Smurfs. Smurfs. We are Smurfs. We are Smurfs. That sounds, Smurfing. Smurfing. That sounds very we Smurfs. Smurfs. I used to collect those Smurfs in the 70s and 80s. Of course you did. Yeah, Mom. they were great. Oh, I did. Mum, do you yeah. remember I used to collect the Smurfs and I used to cl collect um, the uh, trolls. And, you still do that. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I used to squeeze. Uh, I used to um, squeeze. Used to squeeze what? Legs. No, not squeeze. <laughs> Collect um, those whimsy pets. Do you remember those, Mum? Oh, those little whimsies. China pets. Yeah, I, can't I, I can't imagine you collecting anything. Well, I was really quite a collector. A collector but really? I would, yeah. A For a while, collector? I tried to do stamps, but I was too boring. It was like I couldn't understand it. I tried with it, but it just didn't. I think I, my first sign of ADHD with stamp collecting was I had an absolute urge to lick them all oh and God. stick them. Oh, well, that's no lick good. What? You, lick the, what, with stamp collecting, you're supposed to put them on those. Do you remember the little flaps? Oh, that you, you can't help it though. Yeah, I, I couldn't help but just I just licked Mummy, the stamps. Are you and a stuck reluctant them to things. stamp licker? Too. Yeah, I just can't help but <laughs> lick them. She's a reluctant stamp licker. Yeah, the little cellophane. That's right. Did you know this, Dad, when you married her? What? That she's a reluctant stamp licker. Hoi, hoi. Betty, she's just admitted it. Oh. <laughs> there's, you know, there's a song by the Prodigy. She's a Vendi. stamp licker. She's Twisted stamp, stamp licker. licker. <laughs> All that melon looks nice. Pardon? It probably isn't. Yeah. yeah it, never, it never tastes as good as it looks. Ever. It's true. In fact, We're always searching don't. that first high that well, we ever had of the perfect watermelon. quite good ones from Little, actually. Mm. So I was just saying to mum, I looked on the website and the house is lovely and everything, but there's one thing I'm worried about is the spiral staircase. And what did you say? I said, why are you worrying? I said, only 12 stairs. She's counted the stairs. Well, so she knows how many stairs it. there are. This is our big worry now. In case she needs to do well, an I mean, MI5 most, operative or yeah, something. Exactly, yeah, exactly. In case she needs to leave the building. 12 stairs, don't they? 12 to 14. Do they? Yeah. How do you know all this shit, Mum? Most well, staircases have 12 to 14. Well, when it's only one staircase, not when it has a, um, a square, you know. Do you learn this in uh, spy college? Yeah. <laughs> She always makes sure. Yeah, she always makes sure she, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. sure she knows exactly how many stairs yeah. there are to any building that yeah. she's yeah. visiting. Oh <laughs> so we just pulled up here, and my mum said, "Oh, this is where. What did you say? We broke down our clutch win." I Bearing know. in mind, this is just a set of traffic lights, so I don't even know where. Right, <laughs> you're in a Fiat 500 yeah. D. Yeah. D. And so, yeah. what happened? You, when I looked underneath, I found it. You know, it it was. A string. <laughs> yeah. A, stri a string was holding it. <laughs> so I thought what? I can replace that. <laughs> Get them off. Get them off. Oh my God, you were wearing and the tights. And then you literally took your tights off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. 
God so Almighty! You're, hang on, you're dad fixed a clutch with your mum's tights, tights that she was wearing. I know. And the thing is, I'm amazed that she would allow that, having seen what he does when he tried to make shelves with bricks and a plank of wood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, yeah. we had to get there. We had Dina screaming in the back. It was D. It was a D red letter D. That that was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, feel you look underneath the car and you say, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I know what and you, you mean. fixed it with a side. pair of tights. I love that. Oh, Your dad, the mechanic. God. The old days, eh? <laughs> well, no, but the old days when bits of kit were so simple you could fix, fix them, them with a set of tights. Now you can't fix what anything. What would you have done if you yeah. hadn't had any tights on? What would you have done if you'd had a modern car? No. Nothing. Man. Well, we would have called the breakdown man. Yeah, yeah. And we'd have had to call the aliens. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, my dad is just like, mum was just telling us about a house that dad used to live in years ago in Sidcup. And what was it called, mum? The Ostrals? Well, the man who owned it was called Ostral. Marvin, Marv. And what was it like? It was crazy. Yeah. You know, you had to change your name to a girl's name. <laughs> Hmm? What, oh, to live there? Called, yeah. Girl's name, you, you were Susie. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? I was Susie. How old were you? Why, why did How you have to be, why, you? Well, why? I remember. No, he, he, well, he, was, gay. he was gay. Oh. And, and the whole thing was just. Camp. Uh, oh, it was the most amazing thing. Yeah. What was it like? Well, they had a, that, the place, I suppose it must have been where they danced. They had like a dance room, <laughs> like a ballroom. Yeah. Um, and then they had a um, barn. Yeah. The barn, yeah. which had a theatre in it. Yeah, a theatre. And a pool. Did you say there was a pool? And a pool, swimming pool. Oh, yeah. my God. And a social centre for young people. <laughs> you know, you'd come. How old were you? I, I, I was 23. And, but it, they had, Dad was just saying they had 16 orangutans. Uh, and do yeah. I think they could have had a, They must yeah. have been tiny monkeys. They were quite small. Spider ones. monkey. They'll be those little spider monkeys that we used to hold in the 70s. Yeah. Nice looking little monkeys. Yeah. 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 And there was a French lady, Ma Mademoiselle, who looked oh. after them. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Mademoiselle that looked after the monkeys. She was as mad as a hatter. What oh sort of a place? What? And you rented a room there? I went to add that. You rented a room? Yeah, yeah, I rent a very big room. Very nice room. Uh -huh. And I had to wait for Mr. Osho to stick it together. When I, I went to him, I said, I want somewhere to live. He said, go away for two weeks and I'll have uh -huh. a, a place ready for you. Oh. oh my God. How long were you there? It's when he was a student at Rose Bruford. Oh, yeah. well, about four or five years. What? Yeah. You lived with 16 monkeys for five uh, years, I've only just found this out. No. no, but I mean, it's quite a thing to yeah. live with 16 but monkeys. The, the people were, well, I think the people were. Well, 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 the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so, did all sort, was it a den of iniquity? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. Dad, no. We'll take your pick, we, guys. We, we were hoping to make it. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, was. So it sounds like something out of a movie. Was there like, yeah. was it filled with thespians and dancers and yes, yes, circus travellers, feather bowers, there were, there were actors living there, and there was a so a thief amongst us. Oh, uh, who was that? Yeah, fine, not a better word. He was a he was a professional crook. <laughs> <laughs> So we've gone from crook to what was the second one? Burger. <laughs> no, no, he didn't say burglar. He said something you know, before that. A, yeah. Uh, a professional, professional burglar. Pro professional Pro con man. Professional yeah. con man, and we've now arrived at yeah. burger and then uh, burglar. And he, and he used to have a racing car, a racing car, and he used to go to Brands Hatch. You know, quite quite a character. Wow. In, in London has a few characters like that. That you know, yeah. Del Boy, 1950. Very handsome boy, and the ladies were mad about him. You know, he was like the Errol Flynn of sitcom. Bloody <laughs> hell! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. Oh, bit of sitcom. What an experience. Yeah. And there was there lots of sex and drugs and rock and roll? No drugs. No. Well, Booze. <laughs> no, no drugs. Yeah. Booze. No. You know, people like that enjoyed being shady. Yeah. You know, sort of uh, surround themselves with a bit of mystery. And so, and if they found a, for a foreigner like me, that was a joyous day. Because yeah. they could sort of fool him, you know. Especially one straight out of the desert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you must have been a real sort of, oh, I don't know, curiosity. Yeah. Yeah, they, were, they were trying things on me. Like what? <laughs> You know, telling me stories. Oh, I see. They wouldn't tell oh, to any, to any What do you mean? You taking know, advantage I mean, of it? Bragging in front of me, as they wouldn't brag in ah. front of. Like I used to bra brag. I used to go to uh, a Turkish bath in Plumstead. Oh God. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that the term monkeys is a euphemism. <laughs> and, the first day I went to this Turkish, it was a lovely Turkish bath. It was built by the Communist Party. In Sitkop is this? No, no this is Bromsted. Oh. You know, and it, it was built for the people, sort of. Yeah. At the time of communism, when it was popular. And I, I used <laughs> to go to this Turkish bath, because I love Turkish baths. And the first day I went there, they, say, they said to me, how many wives have you got? I thought, okay, uh, this is, uh, I'll play this game. You know? yeah. I said, at the moment, I have three. <laughs> yeah. And they, you know, they wanted to keep the illusion up. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were wishing they, they had three wives. Right. <laughs> I, I love this. There's someone, somewhere, there's these people who were convinced by a man from Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> he had three wives. I, I was talking. They, they probably forever wondered about you. I was still confused about the time of communism in Plumstead. Uh -huh. I didn't. I wasn't aware that they were like Citizen Smith. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, there, it was a period. Really, well, in the fifties, you know. Yeah. Imagine the fifties. Mm. The fifties. The depression before the fun of the sixties. Well done, Mum. This looks lovely. It's got to be this one. It's got to be because well, it's so really flashy. Fancy it. Yes, this is the one. Lisa's already here. Hey. 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 Wow, how long have you been here? Hey, welcome to my beach crib. Watch, this is just my beach crib. Are you going to show us around? Yeah, I am. Just come oh. on in, guys. <laughs> welcome. welcome to my crib. Oh, oh look at you. Okay. Show us yeah. around, dude. Let's have a little butcher's. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh my God, look. Oh my Lord. And you've got another. Oh. And you've got oh. Oh. oh, look. Wow. Oh, say, why'd you come to my house? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh my God, it's amazing. Hey! You're right, Ted? Ted. Is it gorgeous? Have you seen those chairs? Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Oh, are you done? I'm so sorry, mm. Dad. First. I love that you were here first. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How are you done? I hate to be in here first. Yeah. <laughs> I won't look around. See you. <laughs> look at that. It's so stunning. Huh? Yeah. When you sit in these chairs, it'd be really hard to get out. Oh, I bet. <laughs> so that one's open, so she said you're not allowed to leave it open, because it, which I Otherwise just Otherwise you'll get a Johnny why. Depp style injury. No. Um, it's so windy. Is it? And they just slam, the door slam. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Look at the kites. Hey. Hey. All the balloons, oh, what balloons? Oh, oh I see, yeah, the, uh, the oh, kite. Oh, the kites, I mean. Oh, so my God. A little shower there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh.
Tesco. 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 Stunning, isn't it? Oh, mum and dad. Hey! Great like trainers. Oh, this is so Lisa Love. Lisa Love. Lisa Love. How beautiful. When you get round this corner. Dad's put a piece on the website, you know, and then mum walked it. Oh my god, look at this perfect place for Betty and Teddy. Hello. Oh, and come, come, come. It's, come, come. it's, like, it's like the caravan times 6,000. <laughs> someone who really values food. Just look at this, this is the last thing that needs to be brought in. Hey, last thing, no, I was just saying, only, only you know you're married to a cook when you have a box like this. And loose avocados, salsa dip, some of those, garlic crusher, peeler, olive oil, a pair of vegetables. <laughs> Something lads will never see. Wow. <laughs> Lisa just said to me, how long is it until you can oh my Lord. the kitchen? Yeah. This is like something out this of... This is uh, already uh, happened! That's incredible! Reminds me of filming Kitchen SOS now. Lisa just said, how long until you trust the kitchen? I've been yeah. a bright minute. I've been here five minutes. I think it's been wetter. <laughs> You're going to spend your time. Yeah. This is it. I want she's window. discovered what she's going to do when she's old. And I want to chair yeah. in the window. Now That's just nice, sit here like this all day. <laughs> going, oh my God, look at them. <laughs> oh my God, they're shagging. <laughs> That will really hurt my bloody nose. Do not do it. You might give her a nose, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that. laughs> oh. God, that really hurt. It's really tight. Mads. It's 
not the paint. Oh my god. No. No, it's the blister. I've got... Oh my god, it's so sore. Don't play with the uh, clothes peg. <laughs> it's not funny. Classic style. We'll buy this tea. We've got our fish and chips. Yeah. I'm having a spam fritter. He's got a spam fritter side. Because the last this one of these I had, I was about 10 at Thomas Jones. Mama, spam fritter. Dad, look what, well, look what Mark's about to eat. How spam. How does it measure up it's to the spam. last That's spam meat? <laughs> oh my god, it is. It's not meat. Yeah, it's disgusting. I've wanted to try spam so badly. Oh, oh, it's one of the most beautiful things on the planet. Oh. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Lisa, meanwhile, has gone full northern. Yeah. Mushy kept, peas. The whole time I was just taking the order, she just kept saying, exactly. Mushy peas. Don't forget the mushy, mushy peas. peas. <laughs> I love a mushy pea. Oh. Mm. We've all got mm, rock. Eat bread. more rock fish bread. instead of cod, guys, because we can get it here. It's sustainable. Like a big the spam, and guys, oh, the spam swims locally. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. Lisa, explain what's happened to Mark. Oh. All I noticed is. Wounded. He is he's wounded by a spam fritter, Dad. Oh, he literally it's wolfed so it down, left his fish, and now look at him. It's and you've not had your fish. It's expanding. What did I say to you? I'm worried about I've you. It's totally frittered. Oh, God. I feel but like. Mummy had a whole spam fritter in about two minutes. Uh, yes. Mummy's asking for help. Do you think I should. He never physically helped me. Do you think I should give him help? Huh? Do you think I should help him? Yeah, jump on his. No, I don't. Do you hear Dad? Jump on his stomach. <laughs> What, right oh, where the spam fritter is. It's because he's spam fritter. Come on. Oh, come on, get on your knees. I'm back for more. <laughs> no, Mark. Yeah. Oh, God. Have some, have some uh, rock instead. Don't you keep trying to sell me rock. Because you love it. Because you've forgotten you love it. This is just showing you some so party, party trick. trick. She used to do years ago. Oh my God. Oh, you did it so easy. You did. Oh. You did. You did. <laughs> you did. But it's so fast. It's the speed. <laughs> oh my God. It's remarkable. <laughs> now, Nads, you have a go. Okay. <laughs> Chin, darling, you know where your chin Remember, is. Remember, how'd you get it to come oh, up? No, oh, it's your little. Oh, your little. No, that's what I mean. I haven't got that no, bit. Yeah, I'm Troy. Yeah, I haven't got it. Oh no, my she, god, no, you could go through a something. ticket barrier with she that. Got, she, her chin is fucked up. That's why she can do it. Look, <laughs> can I have some more, please? <laughs> 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 I am now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, trying to do a party trick that my mother used to do. <laughs> oh, she was a young gal. Do it. And she used to make her eyes go round and round. My mum just talk, talk me through it. Huh? How did you start? How did you warm up? I think Danny taught me how to do okay. oh, it. Oh, there's a talk. What have I got to do? You've got to first look down. Yeah. Um, do it very no, slowly. Okay. Just do it very slowly. Oh. <laughs> you and then you speed up. <laughs> oh, you're close. Do it. Do it. There's something happened oh, there, Mum. Mum, imagine if I've got the same go, luggage as go. you. Go, go. Go in different directions. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a maniac. Is it working? No. No. No, Mum. You're just. You look like no. an alien. Just looking Is it just like? It's a random thing. Yeah. I can cross and make the other one go the other way. Oh, oh. That's oh. Right. That is a thing. thing. I don't yeah. know if I can do whilst it. Whilst holding a chip pack. Yeah, yeah whilst it. holding a chip pack. <laughs> What's that reason? <laughs> Could you take the glasses off so we can see? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I can do it anymore. Yeah, you so, can. I, can I know tell. I can't do it anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way your eyes shot up. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Have you got it on your nose? Oh, Lisa! Don't, don't let it come off. Don't let it pinch its way off. Don't let it snap off. You'll have a red nose. What are you doing? You'll have a red nose. I can't go to work on Tuesday. I can't go to work. Mark, this is your fault. I know. It's a trend. It's a TikTok trend. Careful! Lisa, you know don't put it. It's not. Yeah. No, no one's doing it. Yeah. No one is attaching this to their nose. Oh. Fresher air. Fresher air. Look at this, guys. Look at the view. Oh. Right, one step. One step. Teddy looks even more like the captain of a ship. She put her jumpers on there for a walk. Yeah. No. No. Can you see Teddy? I want to dance on the stones. Oh. Go on, Teddy. What can you see? Close one eye. The sea. Close one eye. <laughs> the sea. Yeah, you need to close one eye, and then you can see better. Should we tilt it down a bit, maybe? Does it need to go down? I think it can tilt up now as well. Tilt down rather. Yeah, yeah that's it. See if you can see the boat. Can you see the boat?